Hey, this is Brett with Summit Ford in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, your new and used Ford and Ford Bronco Sport headquarters. Today we are checking out this brand new, extremely good looking 2021 Ford Bronco Sport Badlands Edition. This vehicle has the 2 liter turbocharged dual overhead cam 4 cylinder motor. It's going to pump out 245 horsepower. It is made it up with the 8-speed automatic transmission, and that combo is going to get you 26 miles per gallon on the highway, 21 city, and a combined total of 23 miles per gallon. Now this is a Badlands um, model here. It is the heaviest and the tallest of the Bronco Sports. You get the LED headlamps, the LED running lights, and the LED fog lamps, the uh, block lettering of Bronco on the front there. Shadow black is the color on this vehicle. We shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second. So if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, or smartphone device, turn them on right now because it is definitely your best way to check out the looks and styling and color of the vehicle before seeing it in person. You get the Badlands badge on there. And it's, you know, has the skull on there as well as like the rock terrain, which is pretty cool. You get the 17 inch gray metallic rims. And you get Pirelli Scorpion ATR 225-65 R17 all-terrain tires. This one also comes with a full-size spare tire matching to the um, ones that are on it, which is nice. The first thing I noticed about the Bronco Sport was the hood. It's a very flat, horizontal hood. You can see all the way to the end on it, which is something I really like. Um, I also noticed, of course, the front styling of the grille, the headlamps. Everything's really good looking. Everything's very symmetrical. Um, and you also get the tow hooks on the Badlands package here as well. So really good looking front end, uh, nicely done by Ford. You get four wheel disc brakes on this particular one. And please forgive me, I can't tell you for sure if all of them come with four wheel disc brakes or just the Badlands package or just the four wheel drives. I would have to do a little bit more research for that. Uh, you do get, here's the original window sticker, feel free to pause this. You get the two liter EcoBoost, eight speed, transmission. The interior on this is called ebony roast leather trim. So you get the black brown combo leather and then you get the embossed suede on the backrest with the Bronco logo. You get the rubberized flooring on both sides and back. And then your optional equipment on here. This is a 400A you get the Ford Copilot 360 Assist Plus package, which is $795. The Class 2 Trailer Tow package, which is $395. And the Badlands package, which is $2595. That Badlands package gives you the sunroof, um, or the moonroof, reverse sensing system, wireless charging pad, dual zone auto temp AC, HD radio, B&O sound system with the 10 speakers, remote start, and the power 8-way driver's seat. Total MSRP on this vehicle is $37,940. There are your miles per gallon up here. And um, it's not rated yet for government five-star crash test ratings. But we'll finish the outside walk around. We'll check out the back here. This vehicle does have the tow package. And when it's equipped with the tow package, you can tow up to 2,200 pounds. You get the receiver hitch there. And you also get the four-pin wiring, which is right here. Backup parking sensors, uh, you get the LED license plate lights, the LED running lights on the back. Speaking of the back, looks really good. Like the design, you get the roof rack up there. Has the flipper glass, which is really nice. If you have something hooked up to that receiver hitch, you can still get in the back without disconnecting everything. So back here you get that rubberized um, it's more flexible on the backrest here, but this is like a it's the same type of material But it's definitely harder because it's glued down to that piece there 
you do get the full size spare tire like I said and then you get the lights back here with the little Bronco logo in them you also get a 110 volt 400 watt max plug-in and a 12 volt power point back here you get these little clamps for a cargo nut or I'm not really sure what else you could put on there but they do a lock and then you have these cargo lamps right there which are for the lights that are on the rear gate what's cool about these lights is that they adjust so you can angle them to where you need them and then they kind of lock into place as you adjust them which is pretty neat as well those seats do fold down for extra storage and they go almost completely flat which is really nice and then the other thing I like about it is the flipper glass which is pretty convenient if you need to get back here if you have bikes or a trailer that receiver hitch you do get the capless fuel fill on the Bronco Sport as well I like the styling on the back here it just has this little extra design on that pillar there has the intelligent access where you just have to have the key in your pocket you put your hand on there it'll automatically unlock you do get the keyless entry as well blind spot monitoring check out that ebony roast two-tone seats broncos embossed on the driver's seat as well and I do want to open it up. Now watch the radios and the cluster here. Well, sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, when you open it up, sometimes it'll turn the radio on here and you'll get the special graphics of the rocks rolling and everything. Not gonna do it this time. Anyways, you get the 6.5 inch LCD display, digital speedometer, outside temp, compass, miles to empty, all that good information and I'm sure you can change that to read pretty much whatever you want um, on the steering wheel here you get the lane keep assist also the lane departure warning um, and then you have your adaptive cruise control here also has the forward collision warning the heated leather wrap steering wheel and the thing that most people gravitate to right away is the Bronco logo on the steering wheel really big really good looking you instantly know what you're driving so that's cool you have your normal cruise controls there your volume controls bluetooth controls on this side menu controls um and then you do get paddle shifters on the back for the manual drive mode it has the sync three radio with the factory navigation you also have the 180 degree camera on the front so you got that mode, which is the narrow, and then you have the wide 180, true 180 um, camera, so you can see in front of you. And when you start it up and check out the back, you can also um, do the 180, which I'll show you in a second. You get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that good stuff. You also get the navigation system on here, and then you get Ford Pass Connect, um, which is pretty cool. The radio, you have AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. Um, you also have HD capabilities on this one. There are your sources right there. Come on. Anyways, Sirius XM radio capabilities there. Start stop capabilities, you get a little cubby right here. You get your dual climate controls, heated seat buttons, your normal climate controls. Down here you get a USB, a USB-C, cell phone charge pad. Here's your 8-speed automatic transmission with the manual, manual mode. And then what the uh, Badlands package gives you is this GOAT modes, which is go over any type of terrain. That's what that stands for. And you have seven different terrain settings that you can select. So when I turn this, it'll automatically select the four-wheel drive the rear diff lock um, if it needs that for the particular terrain setting that we're doing so when you turn that it'll change up here in the 6.5 inch cluster right now we're in normal mode eco mode sport mode slippery mode and if you go back the other way you have mud and ruts which is unique to the um, badlands package notice it locks the four-wheel drive you have the sand mode and then you have rock crawl mode 
So rock crawl mode is the only one where it will automatically lock that rear diff. We also have trail mode, and that's your stability control, which you can turn stability control off altogether. Electronic parking brake. And the other cool thing is if, like, say you're in sport mode, and you click that rear diff, it'll tell you that's not available for that mode, which is pretty cool. So it's a really smart system. You get the keyless entry here with the remote start. It says Bronco on the back of it. And uh, I'm gonna show you the backup camera. I'm gonna start it up here. There's your backup camera. Now, those grid lines are dynamic, meaning that they're gonna turn as you turn that steering wheel. That center line lines right up with the middle of the receiver hitch. And then if you hit plus, you'll go right over the receiver hitch so you can get hooked up to your boat, camper, or trailer the first time, every time, by yourself, without a problem, which is, trust me, it's really nice when you can do that the first time. Get the BNO sound system up there, and, uh, yeah, really, really a nice vehicle. You get your heated steering wheel button down there. You get to check your rear seats right there. Um, up here you get your map lights, your power sunroof controls, including the sunshade, which I'm not sure if I like that it's a power sunshade or not, but either way, you have your power sunroof. And that goes open so far. Get your sunglass holder there. Um, side curtain airbags in this vehicle. And we'll check out the uh, back seats and then we'll do one more final walk around. There's the uh, animation that I was talking about. You get the uh, rocks or the skyline with the Rocky Mountains out there. Um, and we'll also check out those LED headlamps. Power driver seat, back seats have the same color combos. You do get a little bit of suede on the backrest. The only thing you don't get is the Bronco logo back here. Cup holders, you get two latch child safety systems, the 60-40 split bench seating, 110 volt, 400 watt plug-in back here, that rubberized flooring. You get some holders back here, and you also have side curtain airbags. These seats do fold down for extra storage. And just in the couple times that I've done a couple videos here, I've noticed that when you put the seats up, also side curtain airbags on there, but when you put these back seats up, the seat belt doesn't get in the way. It's, it's held off to the side, so it's never gonna get caught in that latch, which is pretty nice. And you do get child safety locks on the back doors. We'll do one more final walk around here on the Bronco Sport. Badlands edition and I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you will have uh, got a really good idea of the overall looks styling and options on this particular Bronco Sport there are those LED headlamps with the projector lamps LED running lights and the LED fog lamps really a good-looking vehicle I think it's been nicely made I think the styling is great. I think the interior is great. Now we're going to do some drive time with this and some videos on that. But to uh, see more pictures of Bronco Sports, you can go to www.summitauto.com or summitauto4.com if you want to go directly to our Ford site. And to see more p videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitautoford. Um, and in fact, you'll have a link to subscribe to our Summit Auto Ford YouTube page on the left, a link to more Bronco Sport videos like this one on your right. And once again, if you haven't been to our website, on the bottom, a link to this, uh, to uh, Broncos on our website um, on the bottom. So check those out and remember to like, subscribe, and share. And we look forward to selling a bunch of these 2021 Ford Bronco Sports, especially the Badlands editions and Shadow Black. Thanks again for checking out the video.